Rivers Park District is a special park district. It was set up by the state legislature uh, in 1955, and we actually uh, became a, an entity in 1957. So we've been around for over 50 years. Uh, it's a special park district in that we're a single purpose agency committed to acquiring, managing, and uh, providing recreation. Almost 27,000 acres of, of land. We are a natural resource-based park system, and so much of that land that we manage is managed for wildlife and for native plant communities. A portion of it is committed to active recreation for the public. Well, Three Rivers comes from basically three important rivers within this area that we are in the watershed of, and that includes the Minnesota River, Mississippi, and the Crow River. So when we were set up in 1957, the state legislature set us up through the um, Chapter 398, which is our enabling legislation. Um, and that set us up as a special park district, which meant that we had our own board of commissioners um, and our ability to set the tax levy. So that was a very important part of the park district. We were not part of the county um, that we were able to function independently, which means that we solely exist for parks, which is a wonderful thing. So we have this seven member uh, board of commissioners five elected from the geographic districts, two are appointed by Hennepin County Board of Commissioners. Our commissioners serve four-year terms and they are staggered terms. So the board meets every two weeks to conduct the business of the park district. We can have special meetings uh, if we post special meetings. We are a public body open to uh, the public for comments at every one of our board meetings. All of our public meetings are open to citizens. Uh, our website tries to reflect our minutes, our agenda, our budget, because we're trying to be transparent to the citizenry. We promote environmental stewardship through recreation and education in a natural resource-based park system. Our mission statement was really a grassroots effort. Uh, we had a lot of experience. Uh, we created this mission statement the base of it in 1981 and it became it was because of our heritage of what we had learned since we started operating in 1957 we listened to the board we listened to people and then we got a staff effort together every staff member in the park district was engaged in some way in creating this mission statement three rivers employees share five core values now these core values are our basic elements of how we go about our work. They're the practices we use every day in everything that we do. We value public service by continually exploring, innovating, improving, and employing ways to achieve the highest ideals of public service. We value excellence, providing excellence in service, facilities, and programs. We value creating a sustainable future being responsible stewards of the environment and embracing sustainable practices in all that we do. We value the idea that parks are good for people, improving the lives and well-being of individuals, families, and the community by connecting people to nature through nature-based education and recreation. We value accessibility, providing access and a diversity of outdoor recreation opportunities. Rivers Park District is a public agency. We're supported by property tax from the suburban uh, Hennepin County taxpayer. The majority of our uh, operating dollars come from property tax. Uh, actually, about 85% of, um, of our operating budget is uh, generated from the property taxes of uh, suburban Hennepin County. Uh, the remaining 15% uh, comes from either uh, park use or from um, grants. And uh, the park use are, is generated from the fees that we charge for um, specific activities within the park. There is no charge to get into the parks, it's free. Um, I think our board took the position several years ago that everyone that pays their taxes has already paid to come to the park. Uh, within the park, there are special activity fees to um, access our off-leash dog areas or to uh, ride a horse on our horse trail or to uh, swim at our uh, chlorinated uh, swimming beaches. 
um, or to play around the golf and so forth. So we do have activity fees for specific activities um, once you're at the park. And as I mentioned, uh, those fees generate almost 15% uh, of, our, of our operating revenue. One of the things that makes this park district so unique and so exciting is the diversity uh, of the offerings and the parks that we have. We manage about 27,000 acres uh, in seven different counties and we would have park reserves which are large uh, pieces of property uh, such as Murphy Hanoran and Crowhassen as well as regional parks which would be smaller uh, parcels like French Regional Park. We have special recreational areas. Uh, we also manage a, a large number of miles of regional trails uh, throughout suburban Hennepin County. So we have everything from campgrounds to bike trails to swimming beaches to nature centers to educational farms, um, golf courses and as well as our uh, downhill ski and snowboarding uh, facilities. In 2009 the Met Council estimated 7.2 million people visited um, the park district or 7.2 million visits maybe I should be more accurate, so some people visited multiple times. Uh, the busiest parks would be Highland Lake Park Reserve and Elm Creek Park Reserve. They would generate around 750,000 visits per year. And then if you're looking for a, a quieter uh, location, you could go to parks such as North Mississippi or Murphy Hanoran, and those parks would generate about 50,000 visits per year. Stewardship is basically preserving, restoring the natural ecosystems that we used to have in this area pre-European settlement. So when we talk about, in the Park District perspective, of promoting environmental stewardship, it's exactly that. It's trying to preserve some of those natural ecosystem values that we used to have, like the wildlife population, the forests, the prairie landscapes that we have, we used to have, and the water resource quality, as well as the fish populations that we kind of had historically. Recreation is important to get people outside to enjoy the parks. Um, in the wintertime we have cross-country skiing and tubing and sledding and downhill skiing and in the summertime um, biking, hiking, rollerblading and hopefully a lot of golf. Outdoor education is important to Three Rivers because it gives people a chance to be out in nature, also be, have an appreciation for nature and hopefully become stewards of the park district. We are natural resource based. We have and protect a great number of natural resources. We manage 27,000 acres of parkland and we are preserving for all future generations hopefully significant areas of resources. And the park reserves by policy are managed on what we call our 80-20 policy. 80% 80 of that land is to be managed for uh, natural areas and uh, no more than 20% is to be committed to active recreation. Sustainability is living our lives basically in such a manner that we do not compromise the ability of future generations to live their lives. So in the context of the park district, it's maintaining and preserving our, our resources, our recreational facilities at a low enough cost environmentally, economically, and socially that we are able to perpetuate our resources in the long term and continue to provide for park guests over hundreds of years rather than overextend ourselves economically, socially, or environmentally so that we destroy the very resources we're in charge to protect. As a new employee at Three Rivers, there are a few things that Human Resources would like you to know. First, Human Resource policies are available to you electronically in the Employee Resource Center, as well as in hard copy at your work location. Take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with these standards. Second, we want to create a respectful place to work. 
This means, as an affirmative action and equal opportunity employer, we value diversity and inclusion. It also means we want to create an environment that's free from discrimination and harassment. Your job is simple. Understand what discrimination and harassment are, respect others, and let us know if you have any incidents we should be aware of. Third, be aware of your department work rules. Each area at Three Rivers has certain operational expectations, including hours of work, break times, and equipment operation that you should be aware of. Finally, Three Rivers is a safe place to work. We do this by promoting your safety through training, observation, and hazard control. If you have any questions or comments regarding your safety, please contact us via email at safety at threeriversparkdistrict.org. Over the course of the next few days, Human Resources and your supervisor will provide you with training and more information on these topics. In the meantime, please contact your supervisor with any additional questions. People should know that the parks are extremely safe and if you do see anything suspicious it's important that you contact us right away. Um, but by and large staff are very safe, the guests are very safe and um, we are happy to respond to any suspicious activity or if you have anything that makes you feel uncomfortable uh, or your, your uh, sixth sense comes up, uh, give us a call and we absolutely will come out and, and uh, check out what's going on and, and trust your first instincts and don't put yourself in dangerous situations if they present themselves. Staff should be aware in terms of severe weather um, is recognition, obviously awareness when bad weather is coming in. They need to be able to recognize uh, hail, heavy rain, high winds, tornadoes. Um, if they're not sure, there's definitely training that's out there or they could contact a public safety member and get some good information on what to do if there is severe weather coming in. Uh, the biggest thing, again, is recognition and awareness for severe weather. If staff are faced with an emergency and they need to get a hold of public safety, it's important that they dial 911 and indicate that they need a Three Rivers Park police officer to respond. Our mission statement, as we mentioned, has four elements in it. And those elements create, that's how we staff because our job is to implement those four elements of the mission statement. So we need a variety of jobs. Everything from our maintenance staff that clean our bathrooms, empty our trash, mow our lawns, to finance people who, who count the money, to HR people who hire the staff, uh, to management people who supervise the employees, to natural resource people. So we have this variety, this spectrum of employees. But every employee's job should be directed toward that mission, to how we can help each other accomplish what we're trying to do for the citizens. And then we also have an obligation. Our supervisors aren't always watching us, but we have an obligation. Our bosses are, are the taxpayers, the citizens of suburban Hennepin County, the citizens of the region who pay taxes to this park district. And our job, or your job, is that we do an honorable job, that we are giving the taxpayers what they are paying for in every hour that we perform work on behalf of the Park District.